Welcome to Frame Destination where your art's in the right place. I am Mark Rogers and in this video I'm going to show you how to order mat board. Mat board is an optional board that surrounds the artwork and sits between the image and the glass. On our site you can order mat board by itself under Framing Supplies Mat Board or you can order it as part of the picture frame. In this video we're going to order it as part of the picture frame. However, the settings are the same. Your first consideration is do you want a single, double, or triple mat? And you can get help with this under the How To Framing Guides. Under Mat Board Styles. And here you can see a quick example picture. A single mat is just one mat over the image. Double mat is two mats, one laying on top of the other with a little bit of a reveal of the bottom mat. And then of course a triple mat is just an additional one. So you have a total of three mats. Your next consideration is the mat type selection here. We have a variety of different types of mats from decorative to full museum archival. You can get more information on how to select the type of mat, again under how to framing guides. This time you would look at mat board types for picture frames. Once you get a little bit of an idea of the type of mat you want, you can get more information about our choices under framing supplies mat board. You can click on each one of these and get more detail as to that product type. For right now, we'll leave single mat selected and we're going to select a crescent select four ply as the mat type. The next choice is the color. The crescent select four ply has the most colors available. And for now, we'll go ahead and select this blue mat. Now we can move into the frame and mat sizing options. In the case of a mat, there's actually two sizes. There's going to be the artwork size, which is the size of what you're framing, and then there's going to be the frame size, which is the outside dimension of the mat or the inside dimension of the frame. Before you select the size, you want to make sure that you measure your artwork properly. As you can see in this example, the paper is larger than the image. So the artwork size is just the visible part of the image. So that's what you're going to measure, the width and height of that. Once you have your dimensions, you may be able to select it under one of our popular sizes or enter it manually as a custom size. Under our popular sizes, we have over a hundred different sizes. And in some cases, we have more than one option for the same artwork size. For instance, these 11 by 14 options are available to allow for smaller borders or larger borders. If you need to enter in a custom size, just select this. And then you can enter in the size here, including fractions. If you select custom, you have, that gives you the additional opportunity to change the artwork overlap, which is how much the mat is going to actually overlap your image. As you can see in this example, the, the mat actually covers up the edge of the image. Typically, most off-the-shelf mat boards will actually cover one quarter inch of the, in, of the image on each side, which makes the mat window actually a half inch smaller. And you can see here it shows artwork size of 11 by 14, but the window 10 and a half by 13 and a half. Our default for most of our mats under 18 by 24 is actually just one eighth of an inch. So it's only covering up a quarter inch of the entire image. If you don't want the mat to cover up any of your image, we have a special option on our website where you can actually enter in a negative overlap, such as one half inch. This causes the mat window to be a half inch larger on each side, causing the entire window to be one inch larger than the artwork. You can see here it went from 11 inches to 12 inches for the width. An example of what this looks like can be seen here. This is a case where the image is printed on paper that's larger than the image. And you can see here that you can actually see a half inch border of the paper around the image. The image does not have uh, any border on it, and it's the same size as the paper, and you select a mat window that's larger, then you're going to see whatever's underneath the, uh, the image, such as the, a, a mat board of a particular color or a mounting board. Once you have your mat window opening size set, now you can control how large the borders are. And you can do that in two different ways on our website. 
You can do, do it one way by entering in the frame size directly, which is the outside dimension of the, of the mat. For instance, if we wanted to make this a square frame, just put in 20 here. The other way that you can control these dimensions is by entering in the borders directly. You just select mat size and then you can enter in the side border here, which will control the two sides. And then of course you can control the top border here. Also, if you happen to want to bottom weight the border and make this border a little bit thicker, you can change the bottom weight. For instance, if we put one inch here, then it will make that border one inch larger. And you can see here it will show the size, total size. The bottom mat width is five and an eighth, and the top mat width is four and an eighth. Whereas if you don't put in a bottom weight, you know, then it's top and bottom are the same dimension. Regardless of whether you enter in the borders or you enter in the frame size, the website will automatically calculate the other dimensions that are needed. So if you're putting in the borders, it will calculate the frame size. If you're putting in the frame size, it's automatically going to calculate the borders. And you can see your final measurements over here from the artwork size to the window to the frame inside, which is the same size as the outside of the mat. And then not relative for when you order just a mat by itself, but it will also show you the frame outside, which is this dimension based on how wide the frame is. Because the frame is gonna overlap the mat a little bit, the frame window is actually a little bit smaller than the inside frame dimension here. That's everything you need to know to order a single mat. However, if you want to do a double or a triple mat, you end up with a few more options. Triple mats can have three mats, and so you're going to have two additional mat types and two sets of colors to specify. We'll go ahead and pick a different color here to make this more obvious. You can see here now we have a top mat that's red and a bottom mat that's blue. And also for each mat, you have another feature, the offset which decides how much of the mat is visible. The default is a quarter inch. So in this case, you can see a quarter inch of the blue is gonna be visible before it switches over to the red. And you can make this larger if you want. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here so you can see, like I said, typically it's about a quarter inch is the default. So we'll take this back to single mat now, and I'm gonna show you one more special option in the case of doing a negative overlap, where you want to have a border visible around the image, you know, where the, the window is actually larger, one of the things that you can do when you're ordering a complete frame is under our advanced options, you can actually add a blank mat. The blank mat is a mat that has no window in it, like a regular mat. And so if you have a mat window, is larger than the artwork and you're going to have this border, you can put the blank mat underneath the regular mat and produce an effect like this. Where you can see here between the artwork and the mat, you can see the under mat or, or solid mat board that was gold in color. Hopefully that's everything you needed to know about mat board. But of course if you have more questions feel free to reach out to us on phone, email, or chat. And also check out our website under the how-to. We've got more videos and the framing guides. And we look forward to helping you out.